A new Forza Motorsport trailer has been released. Here are some things I noticed. Oh yes, Forza Motorsport has more gameplay footage. This time, from developer underscore direct. You can of course go and watch the trailer without a British motoring journalist talking over the top, although there will be fewer dad jokes. So here we go. Did you see it? Look again. Yes, that is wheel rotation. This is probably there to address a common complaint, although steering that much in that car would mean it actually changes direction. But anyway, let's not get tired before we begin though. Here's Chris Asaki. Looks like a friendly chap. No, I don't know where you can buy a Forza Gile. Off the bat, Asaki says to expect optimization for Xbox Series X and Series S consoles, so hopefully nobody is left behind visually. 60 FPS is preferred for racing games. More on this later. Side note, it is a shame that Turn 10 is struggling to keep the lights on. Another key point is that developer Turn 10 wants Forza Motorsport to look real, sound real, feel real. Yes, the series numbers have gone out the window, so no, this is not the original game I made a video about. Anyway, wheeling V8s, lovely. Ford GT, lovely. Try not to focus on the eyes following the auto cue, it takes you out of the moment, but this is where we learn where there will be more than 500 cars to collect, race and customize with more than 800 upgrades. 100 of those 500 odd new cars are new to the Forza Motorsport series, suggesting we may get a fresher garage than in Forza Horizon 5, which was at least a generation behind for some models. As for race cars, Vehicle Arts Director Gabe Garcia says to expect more than ever. Physics improvements, meanwhile, are said to be greater than that of Forza Motorsport 5, 6 and 7, the current game in the series, combined. Garcia says this will mean greater levels of fun, although total realism and fun are not always the best of friends in gaming. Car Paint Simulator 23, this is not, but the level of detail is unrivaled, with even paint thickness and chipping a thing, and of course, even more realistic reflections. Whether you leave paint on a barricade remains to be seen though. Damage and dirt buildup is said to be unique to each car, which hopefully means the best car damage realism we have ever seen. We really took a step backwards in this department, partly due to vehicle licensing. Turn 10 also mentions unrivaled effort in the sound department, which is often an overlooked element of sim racing. Windows Sonic and Dolby Atmos support are mentioned. Also mentioned is that vehicle upgrades change the overall sound of a vehicle. Sound will also react better to its surroundings, enhancing the realism, unless your speakers or headphones are potato grade. Based on the trailer, those engine notes, tire squeals and chicane bumps sure do sound excellent. Now for environments. Forza Motorsport director Arthur Sheck tells us to expect 20 of them at launch. 20 locations, but an unknown number of tracks. At launch, of course, hints at future content packs, which is hardly surprising because capitalism. Of the 20 environments, five are new to the series. This includes Kyalami in South Africa. Though detailed track mapping via laser scanning and photogrammetry is nothing new, the developer explained that it collects more than three terabytes of data. This allows up to 10 times more detail, improved layout accuracy, better vegetation, tracks that are more lifelike, more accurate lighting, volumetric fog, dynamic weather, and a fully procedural cloud system. Not only that, there are thousands of crowd spectators, each fully animated. Realism continues with the addition of dynamic track temperatures, wet driving surfaces, and rubbering in. So according to the developer, no two laps will ever be the same. Pretty sure my driving would ensure that anyway. 4K 60 frames per second and real-time ray tracing happen, quote, on track to create true-to-life reflections on all smooth mirror and flat glass surfaces, unquote. So says Sheck. Online racing, meanwhile, will be served as a new mode, while the single-player experience mode takes the form of an all-new car-building-focused single-player career. 
Hopefully, that means starting in a slow car that you become attached to like it is your own flesh and blood, upgrading it until it dominates all rivals, and eventually saying goodbye with tears rolling down your face as you move on to bigger races with a new car. Rinse and repeat. Jumping into the best exotic machinery straight away is, as we saw in the latest Forza Horizon and Gran Turismo 7 games, not necessarily a recipe for long-term fun. And that brings us to the end of the trailer, but not before one last major detail. That original Xbox Bethesda showcase mentioned Spring 2023. Well, now we see 2023. A hint at a delay, perhaps. But this is not a bad thing if it means a more solid product at launch. And that is it for this video. Like and subscribe if you like things with wheels. Let me know what you noticed in the trailer. Until next time. Take care. Bye. Forza Motorsport is back. And it's our most comprehensive game ever. With over 500 cars and 20 environments with more new race cars than ever before. You can experience all of this in our incredible new online racing mode and in our all new car building focused single player career. We cannot wait for you to get your hands on this incredible game.